feels like rendezvous. You know what to do. Keep your love for me only. Hey guys, good morning. It is Wednesday morning. I'm just making some breakfast. Um, I'm actually about to go, well after I eat, I'm gonna go get ready and then film the giveaway winner. So thank you so much to everyone who participated. Um, it was, I had a really good, I feel like I had a really good turnout. I feel like a lot of you guys really wanted to win. You all were really like happy and participating. So thank you so much for that. Um, today I am, I have to go to Target. I have to get some, like we're out of cleaning supplies. Like I'm out of Lysol wipes. I'm out of dish soap almost. I'm out of Swiffer pads, laundry soap, like I need to go and get like that kind of stuff. And I also have to get groceries. But I think I'm gonna wait till Henrik gets home to go grocery shopping because we actually have to go like grocery shopping. Okay, so clearly I'm getting ready. I figured I'd pop on here because I'm gonna try a new setting powder. I've had it in my drawer for like the longest time and I never tried it. Well, I think I have tried it, but I've never like tried to bake with it, I don't think. If I did, it was like a long time ago. I believe I got this in BoxyCharm. I love BoxyCharm, like I love it so much. It's so fun to like get new stuff every month and they're all like full size products and it's just, it's fun. So if you, if, I used to get a glam bag. Is that, yeah, the Ipsy glam bag. My mom still gets that I think. Um, but I used to get the Ipsy glam bag and then I heard about BoxyCharm and honestly BoxyCharm is $10 more but it's amazing, like amazing. Try it out if you haven't. I'm not, they don't even know who I am. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, it truly is a fun thing to get in the mail. But I got this powder in there. Banana setting powder. What is this by? Um, it just says, no, it just says banana setting powder. So we're going to try and set or bake our under eyes with that today. So tomorrow, I actually got invited to go to the I Feel Pretty, which is that new movie with Amy Schumer. It's like a screening of it in the city. So that's tomorrow and I could bring two guests. So I'm bringing my mom, of course, and Henrik. Henrik, you guys know, he like lives for movies. So I think that'll be cool that he gets um, an opportunity to see the movie before it's out. And then he can probably even like do a video for his channel. So we're gonna go do that tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. It's gonna be so much fun. I've never been to anything like that. And even though I don't like movies, I really wanted to see I Feel Pretty because it just looked really good. And like, it looked, it looks like it'll be good for the body positivity community. Um, again, I'm not sure I haven't seen it yet, but it does look that way because it's about her like not having confidence and then she hits her head and then like all of a sudden she like is in love with herself and like has all this confidence and doesn't let anything bother her. So I'm excited to go see that and see how that is. So I'll probably do a get ready with me tomorrow on like what I'm going to wear. It's not, there's not going to be any press there. The, the press is going to be there on Saturday, which I was actually invited to go see, to go do an interview, like go watch an interview with Amy Schumer and um, some of the other actresses and actors that are in the movie and, and the director and writer, I believe. Um, but unfortunately they had like a scheduling problem and they couldn't figure it out. So that little interview is canceled. So. Saturday would have been the day that like you really get dressed up. So tomorrow I believe is just like really casual, just like a regular day at the movies. Um, but I am gonna like dress up obviously. Not dress up, but look cute. I'm probably gonna wear black skinny jeans with those cheetah print heels and then hopefully like a flowy tank of some kind and then the distressed denim jacket and then a necklace or something. But everyone's like so excited to go do that. Oh yeah, I don't like this at all. Ooh, I don't think you can see. Look how yellow. I should have known. <laughs> it's called banana powder, but it's so yellow. Ooh, ooh. Mm. That was a mistake. Whoops. I'm gonna try to cover it up with my air spun, but. Mm. I may have to take it off. I don't know. I hate taking it off though. Like sometimes if I add too much powder, it'll get really like gross looking and I'll have to take it off anyway. But when you do that, it just, it sucks. So then you're like removing the primer underneath the foundation and everything just looks like uneven. I think it's okay. That was a fail. Do not use that powder to bake. <laughs> if you have very fair skin. I believe on like women of color, this would look gorgeous to brighten up the skin underneath the eyes, but 
it's too yellow for my skin tone okay crisis averted but yeah i'm really excited to go there tomorrow even though i'm not like a big movie fan like movie person i really really wanted to see this anyway and to be invited to go to like the screening in new york city i thought was really cool so that is my plan for tomorrow. I am allowed to vlog. Obviously, I can't vlog any of the movie. But I am going to document, like, the car ride and the process and vlog everything. And then I probably will do, like, the get ready with me of how I end up getting ready. And you can see my outfit, so. That I decide to wear because I don't. That's, like, an idea I have in my head. But I'm not sure 100% if that's what I'm going to, to wear. But, yeah, I'm so excited for that. That'll be so much fun. Okay, I'm back to try the highlight. My mom got me uh, the Maybelline Master Chrome Me Metallic Highlighter uh, in the shade 100 Molten Gold for Easter. It was in my little Easter basket that she got me. Um, so I want to give that a try right now. It's really pretty. It seems really, really gold, but I swatched it last night on my finger and it looked gorgeous. So let's try. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh wow. They're really pretty. They're a little chunky. You can see. It is a little bit chunky, but not like too bad. It just picks up a lot of like the um, texture in my skin. This may be good for like a nose highlight because my nose doesn't have a lot of texture to it. pretty it just I don't like the fact that it picks up all this tex texture on my cheek right there I don't think you guys can see but that's pretty maybe like a body highlight or on your nose or like if you don't have a lot of texture these may be good for you all right we are heading out to the teen center because I want to go see my mom really quick and show her something that I haven't even shown you guys yet, but we got another puppy named Lola. Well, we named her Lola. Okay, we rescued her from the same people we, re we rescued Oliver from, but she's a puppy and she is very confident and very like ballsy and very just like, very independent and very like, I don't know, like she was, she's gonna teach Oliver confidence probably hopefully that's what we all were like hoping the woman who like rescues and fosters the dogs texted me saying that she got two new yorkie puppies and that she felt like one of them was gonna be like the perfect fit for oliver so we got her she is so precious she is literally the sweetest thing in the entire world like so sweet so precious she's so easygoing and she's actually like pulling Oliver out of his shell already like they're playing together they're like I can just see such a big change already which is so good because Charlie is very in my house Coco was the dominant one Charlie was submissive to her so Charlie is a very submissive personality and he's not he's not very like I don't know, he's just, he's not really independent. He's a very anxious dog as well. And so he really wasn't teaching Oliver the right thing. So we figured, or not the right thing, but like trying to teach Oliver confidence. So we figured we would get him a little friend, his size, who was confident and could teach him how to be like a more confident dog. So that's the plan. I'm gonna show you her in a minute. She is so, precious and so good so I'm gonna go show my mom her because my mom hasn't seen her we've had her since last Thursday we did like a trial weekend with her to see how she got along with the other dogs and she ended up getting along great as I said like her and Oliver have already been playing kind of and like he's been pulling her out of her sh she's been pulling him out of his shell so I have her in the bag right now and Oliver is kind of just sitting in the passenger seat would you guys judge me if I was one of those people who got their dog's stroller? Because I really want to. Look who it is! Hello! Hello! What's up? Henry, can I have some? Take that from here. No, no, we're on my hand. It's filthy in my mouth. 
Oh shit. Like that. Uh, <laughs> almost. Uh oh. There's only one left. Oh, ah, I got. Oh my god. Oh. Four. Look at you. Stank red. <laughs> so. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I told him about Lola girl. I know. I didn't show her yet. Oh, you didn't? Mm -mm, I was waiting for you. Oh, okay. So we're going to do it at home? Yeah. And I wasn't able to get my mom's reaction because I walked in and there was like four kids there because my mom's getting interviewed for project. a project for one of the kids. So I wasn't able to get her reaction, but she thought she was adorable. So yeah, cute. Um, yeah. So, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I just wanted to say thank you for all the love and appreciation that we got on our last <laughs> video on the how we met. Yeah, first, we, first thing. First thing we met. Everybody loved it. Yeah, it's, it yeah, was fresh. I was very yeah. So I appreciate all the love. Me too. Blasting it up. It was, it was cute. It was very cute. So we are on our way to Target right now. Where else would we be going? <laughs> we have to get a couple of things, aka toilet paper, paper, P -P -P. paper towel. A couple things for the giveaway. Oh, look at the Dalmatian. Pretty girl. Oh my god, this hill's a bitch to walk up, damn. God bless. Um, Lysol wipes. Avocados. I didn't get them at Stop and Shop because they're too expensive. A tin. A tin? <laughs> Your popcorn tag? Oh my god. Do you guys... Hold on. Stop. There hold, is... Please hold. I don't even know the brand. It's called the tin. It's, no, no. It's called, like, Popcornopolis or something. Remember? Whatever. There is this high level popcorn mm -hmm. at Target. I'm talking about high level. It's $12 or 10, 11 and the plus tax. <laughs> Yo, and it's caramel and cheddar. Oof. Oh my word. It's like unbelievable. It's really, really good. It's so good, you have no idea. It's pretty bomb. So whenever we go to Target, <laughs> Henrik gets rewarded by a popcorn tin. Oh, it's so good. It is pretty good. Did you tell them where we're going tomorrow? I didn't put my thing on. Yeah, I told them earlier. How exciting, ladies and gentlemen. He's so pumped. He is so pumped. I know. Uh, I was, yeah. I thought it was really cool, too. I, had, I, held, I held two vlogs just as, about movies, and I'm going to go to a movie premiere, regardless of the film. <laughs> no, the film should be cool. It though. should be interesting. I like Amy Schumer. It seems like it's a fun rom-com. She's a joke thief, but yeah, it's fine. I just like how, like, I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews on the body positivity community regarding the movie, so I'm curious to see like what the movie's about and how I feel about it. I'm sure they're, she's like, you don't even hit your head to think you're beautiful. Who, me? No, the people. Oh yeah, people are like, Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I've seen, but I've just seen like mixed reviews about it, so. Listen, I don't, I don't. I'm I, really excited. I'm sorry, it looks really funny. Yeah. No, no, I, I think it looks funny too. I just think people, it's movies are meant to entertain. Stop getting offended over them. It's fiction. It's fake. Get over it. Well, no. that's a whole other concept. Like, that's a whole other thing. Everyone's getting offended over everything these days. Oh my god, that's all they do. I don't know. And again, say, you, like, could say, you could say the sky's blue and someone's going to be like, um, it's periwinkle with a touch of aquamarine. Uh, which I think is fine. Like, you know, people, which I, I think it's good and bad all at the same time. A lot of people are like, I'm able, how do we get on the subject? Uh, <laughs> I think people are able to speak their voices more and it's great, but like it seems like it's just it's crossing that line where it's just like everything and anything, like everything is a problem and blah 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 blah. Oh, it's just getting to a point where you can't say anything, yeah. be anything, do anything without getting offending somebody. Like I have some comedy that I would love to release. The thing is I talk about being big and I talk about my life as a big person and, and sex and all this and then like and I think it's hilarious. It is it, funny. It's, it's very all funny. in jest, yeah. and it's not, you know, it's a joke. It's, you know, stand-up that I've done, and and I would love to release it, but, like, I, I kind of feel like, oh, man, you know, I don't want to throw anybody off in the wrong way. Uh, that can be taken offensively. It can be taken offensively because it is joking about that manner, but it's like, these are my experiences, and these are my experiences, and, like, what I found is funny, because I say a lot of crazy stuff, so it's a, half, of, half of my... Uh, the things that I say are, is, is just out of whack and out of left field. So a lot of it's just crazy things that I think in my head. So I don't know. We'll see. If you guys want, you know, you're willing to not get offended. <laughs> His comedy is very funny. You are a very, very funny, good comedian. Like you're actually a really great comedian. Thank you. Like you actually have talent for that, and you have like the balls to be on stage. What? Appreciate you. Appreciate <laughs> oh wow. You have, me. you have like the balls to be on stage and like 
And I love it too. And like so say much that in front of so many people, and like yeah. and like it's like with stand up, it's like that thing where like it's either they laugh, like you either like fly or flop. Like yeah, they either laugh or they're like silent. Yeah. Like you're not like it's like very like unpredictable. Yeah. And you have the balls to do that. As to me, I'd be like. <laughs> If no one laughed, I'd be like offing myself. I mean, not really. I've, the problem is, I always feel bad when I like, go to these shows in New York City. Uh, it's called the Climate Lounge. It's on East 7th Street. It's my favorite place to go. Uh, they have a lot of shows, and there's always a good crowd there, and they're very, you know, accepting. And, you know, again, there's people, that is like Sorry. East 7th Street now, the Lower East Side is, has become the, you know, the, the, like the hipstery capital of the city. And, you know, even they are like, oh my God, that's so funny. Like, you know, they try, you know, there's always, again, I think. I don't know, maybe I, the aura I give off, sometimes people just feel like, oh, he's not trying to hurt anybody's feeling. Like, it is a joke. You know, I never say anything with malice. No, it's honest, though. No, like, I know. You know, even, like, you know, because I did talk about, like, you know, big girls or whatever, like, in a joking way, like, you know, and then, like, a big girl came and she's like, that was the funniest thing I've ever fucking heard. Well, because heard. here's the thing is that it's relatable. Yeah, Like, exactly. it's not like the, you're just spitting, like, mm. fuck fat bitches. No, like, never, never, They're never. smelly, they're gross. Like, no, you're not saying any of that. You're just, like... You're saying facts yeah. that some people can get their feelings hurt with, or it's funny. You know like, what I mean? Yeah, like I'll give a premise, like I said, that uh, that I said, uh, like as a joke, I said, you better stop giving all these big girls confidence, because secretly, I knew this, nobody knew this, that girls who are bigger and curvier are so much hotter than, a, than a, you know, I feel, than a super skinny chick. Like, they just, you know, you know, I, I like it that way. And if you're skinny, that's cool, you're beautiful too, but it's like... I always found that, so I'm like, yo, you better stop, because I had, uh, me, being an overweight dude, you know, I wasn't snatching girls left and right, <laughs> but like, you know, I thought I, had, I hit the gold mine, like, nobody's looking at big girls like that, they don't, you know, and this bitch Ashley Grant come around, being on the front of Sports Illustrated and shit, letting everybody know that, oh, curvy girls is the shit, uh, and I was like, this motherfucker, mm. out here, putting me on blast, Cause I'm in here hitting top level women. And, I'm know, so embarrassed. Shut up, Eric. <laughs> Why? Look who I'm sitting next to. Oh Look my who God, I'm sitting please. next to. Please. The pinnacle of perfection. Look at that face. You're precious, but no. It, yeah, baby, 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 baby. Look, come on. You hot. <laughs> Shut come on. Up. Come on. Them, them, them hips. So, so that's one of my jokes. I'm like, oh, are you still ever? No, just get away. It's a joke. How did we get on this topic? <laughs> no, we're talking, no, we're talking about, no, we're talking about movies and stuff, you know, about uh, how, like, everyone gets offended at the movie that you were saying that people were getting offended about the body positivity. I just think, you know, yeah. take a chill pill, you know? We're all joking, and uh, sometimes people do say mean things, and they are, uh, you know, they, and, I, and I agree, and it's a, uh, it's a thin line to toe on, but you just gotta, you know, if you come, the thing is when you do it too dry, and you're like, oh, it was a joke. Like that girl, the one who did the YouTube, like, Dear Fat People. Oh, like, fuck she's like, that She's bitch. like, I'm a comedian. No, that Number was not one, funny. No, you ain't. Number two, you're like, fat people should just go away. Like, like that's not funny. Like, you're not... That's not funny. You know... Like, that's not relatable. That's not funny. Exactly. You can't see the comedic, like, flair yeah. in that. It's not funny. It's yeah. just rude. It's like bully humor. Like, yeah, like, know, that's like, not... Like, and, like... Which is cool, like, and maybe, again, maybe I feel a little different because I'm part of that group. So I'm talking about, like, oh, fat dudes. Like, I have a joke about, you know, oh, this is going to be rough. Uh, I have a joke about, you know, getting a blood. Henry, no, I have little kids that oh, watch. Okay, fine, whatever. We can't talk about that. Okay, fine. <laughs> Hashtag, I'm sorry. Hashtag family block. Okay. Not really. We're not family friendly, but, like, we're, like, no. PG-13. Yeah, okay? okay, we can't talk about that, all right? About my belly getting in the way when I'm trying to be close to something. Okay, there you go. There you go. Nice <laughs> you rounded it out. Okay, a bit. and like it's funny. Like it's funny because it's relatable. Like I'm trying to get in to smooch a girl, and I'm like, bazoink. <laughs> I'm dead. She's like, whoa. <laughs> dead. So like, I don't know. Oh. And it's funny. So you know, if you guys want me to, if you guys are willing to, you know, keep an open mind and think it's it's all in fun. You know, I'll release him. <laughs> All right, yeah. Comment below if you want to. You know what? You want to watch Henry's uh, comedy? Screw it. Even if you don't want to release, I'm releasing it tomorrow after oh, this vlog comes out. Think I can't? Think I can't? Look at this dog. Think I can't? Look at this precious one. And there's an even more precious one in here. They're both precious. Precious, precious, and precious, sir. Okay. We just pulled up to Target though, so I am gonna disconnect Ooh, the camera. We're close to the ten. 
and go inside. We're gonna show you the tin. We gotta show them. Okay, we'll show them the tin. Popcopolis. Okay, ta ta. Popcopolis. <laughs> Popcornopolis. This is Popcornopolis. All right, guys, these are the lashes that I've been obsessed with. Um, they're $10.99. I'm picking up a pair for me and a pair for the giveaway winner. I love them. Amazing. I'm wearing them right now. So we just got back from Target and Stop and Shop. I wanted to show you what we got because we got so much stuff because we were literally like out of everything, like food and like toiletries, like household stuff. So let me show you what we got. Um, I'll start over here. I got some Italian chicken sausage with cheese and garlic. That sounded good. <laughs> some fresh chicken breast, boneless, skinless. Some ground turkey down there. That's for the dogs. I've been making their dog food. They had ground beef today. Tomorrow they'll probably have some turkey. Um, I picked up some chamomile tea. Ooh, some peanut butter. Two packs of cream cheese down there. Four lemons. Some more minced garlic and water. I picked up four of these little, four of these little like mashed potato containers just because they're super easy to make and like quick on days where we're either late or working at the teen center till late. So I got four of those. I got some bagel thins, the whole wheat kind and then the everything kind. I really like these. I've been craving like bagels and cream cheese. So I had to buy bagels and cream cheese. Um, I got some healthy pop microwave popcorn, some hot dogs for Henrik, some American cheese, ham for Henrik, and then turkey breasts for me. I have some baby spinach here for salads, some lemon juice. I love cooking with lemon juice, whether it's like shrimp or fish or chicken that I'm making, I love to add a little lemon juice in there. I have some fresh blackberries here, some large raw shrimp. Down here, they have like a deal on cans of soda so I got three packs of diet for me and three packs of regular for Henrik a 24 pack of water I know soda's bad for you I drink Diet Coke anyway I'm addicted it is what it is um, we got eight rolls of paper towel and 36 rolls of toilet paper over here this is the breakfast sausage that I like the banquet brown and serve turkey breast turkey breast <laughs> banquet brown and serve turkey cooked sausage links I love these breakfast sausages. I got some Ritz crackers, some Nutri-Grain bars for Henrik to take in the morning or for his lunches. I picked up some Truvia for my tea. These are my favorite chips in the world. The Kettle brand sea salt and vinegar. Oh my god, they're so good. So I had to get one of these. Um, and then Henrik likes the barbecue. I hate barbecue, but I got that for him. I got these low in carb whole wheat like sandwich wraps kind of for my deli turkey. Um, I got two loaves of bread. It was buy one, get one free. It's the Arnold whole grain, 12 grain and the Arnold whole grain health nut bread. I got a bag of onions, yellow onions. I have some string cheese here with well the 2% string cheese, love that. They also had buy one, get one free packs of shredded cheese. So I got sharp cheddar and mozzarella. I also got two green peppers, two mangoes, four lemons, and of course I had to get the pesto again. Love that pesto. It's the best pesto in the world. Um, over here, this is the popcorn Henrik was talking about. He is obsessed with this popcorn. It's the Popcornopolis Caramel and Cheddar Popcorn Tin. Like, he lives for this. So, we got him that. I'm also sometimes drinking the Premier Protein drinks like as like a meal replacement for lunch. So I got the chocolate kind and the caramel kind. I'm just gonna try the caramel kind. This is all from Target now. Um, I got some migraine relief. I've been getting like a migraine past couple days with the weather change and, change and stuff. So I got some of these. I got this for Lola's collar. Cute little pink flower. Some sponges. My favorite lashes I'm literally obsessed with right now. I got these, the Ilor Lux Silk Marquise. Some dish soap, Swiffer Wet Jet refill pack with the liquid and the pads. Some downy, like odor defense in wash little things. These smell really good, so I'm gonna try these out. Some laundry soap, Tide laundry soap. Back there, I got a four pack of Lysol wipes, four pack of avocados. And then we have three gallons of water, one gallon of low fat milk for Henry, one gallon, half gallon of almond milk for me. I think that's it. I'm gonna put this away. Henrik actually ran to go pick up some Chipotle for dinner. 
So I'm gonna get all this packed away and then we're gonna have dinner and I'll come back and show you Lola. This is my Chipotle bowl. I usually get the chicken, the fajita veggies, cheese, black beans, brown rice, mild salsa, sour cream. I think that's it. Yeah. What'd you get, babe? I got steak, uh, sour cream, cheese, corn, white rice, and then I got, uh, with the steak, I got some pulled pork. Not pulled pork, uh, oh, pork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like almost like perennial for Dominican. So. You love. Okay. Hello. Are we ready to introduce her? Oh, of course. Here she is. This is Lola. Oh, <laughs> she loves her papa. She is 12 weeks old. Lola girl. She is very cute. She's very loving. See? Mm -hmm. Here, pup. Oh. And we are very, very happy that she's here. She's helping Oliver a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's helping Oliver a lot with his, you know, a little bit of anxiety and his skittishness. So he's doing good. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at she's the She's so baby. playful and she's... Look at the yeah, girl. Yeah, she's a beautiful girl, Lola. So... I'm yes. very very happy she's so good she's so sweet yeah. and so like but she's patient and playful she's just such a good girl yeah. honestly and she's helping all her yeah. so much we're about to take the garbage out don't yeah. mind that <laughs> so yeah this is lola she's a little tired <laughs> and uh you want to sh show her to you guys because we think she's the cutest thing ever look at her lola are you ready to be famous we should open an instagram for you and papa and papa's lola and charlie and oliver's <laughs> TV show. Yes. All right. Is there a book? She's so cute. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. We love you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to end the vlog here. Tomorrow's an exciting day. We have the movie screening. So I'm going to take you guys along for that. But I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.